Hello and welcome back to Web Application Design. Here in Photoshop, I've got opened up the project file that we're going to be working with over the course of this video series. And before we get started, I wanted to talk very briefly about Web Application Design and how it's different from designing a front end for a website. Now, historically, I've noticed that a lot of back end systems are not really all that attractive. They're built for functionality and unfortunately that often leads to a really bad user experience. Well, there's no reason that a back-end web application design has to be like that. In fact, users are becoming more design aware than they ever were in the past and the design and the pleasing aspect of a website, even the back-end of a website such as a blogging system, it's becoming more important than ever to create clean interfaces that look nice and that are easy to navigate around in. And when you're designing for the back end of a web application, it's very important to keep in mind the user experience, just as important as if you were designing the front end of a website. Your design needs to have some sort of visual hierarchy to it. It needs to be easy to look at, easy on the eyes. It needs to have some white space in it so that it doesn't look too cluttered. If you think about some of the older Microsoft applications, uh, that's what immediately comes to mind when I think of old, outdated application designs that are just too much to look at. So throughout this course, we're going to work on creating a clean, simple, minimalist, yet very useful design in Photoshop for the back end of a web application. And we're going to be designing specifically what you see before you, the dashboard of the application. Now we don't have time in a course like this to design every possible page of your application, but by the time we get done designing the dashboard, you should have a pretty good idea of how to put designs like this together. And I want to encourage you once you're done with this series to actually go through and practice by creating some extra pages using the same design. And once we have the basic design in place, it should be pretty easy to expand that and to create new pages and, uh, and to create them in a way that makes sense with the current design that we're working on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lot of fun working your way through this course and I hope you learn a lot from it. So thank you again and I'll see you in the next video.